Hi everybody, I hope you are all having a great day today. I just wanted to come on here and share with you guys about a dream that God gave me regarding the rapture and being left behind. Um, I do not want to make this video too long and keep you on here for too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into my dream and also be obedient and let you guys know what he asked me to share with all of you. Um, so the dream started off um, with me, my sister, my mom, my two kids, and my nephew, my sister's son. And we were all in the childhood home that me and my sister grew up in. And my mom was downstairs with my two kids and my, me and my sister were upstairs in her old bedroom um, with her baby. And while me and my sister, we were folding clothes. While we were folding clothes, I started hearing a very faint sound of a trumpet, a very faint sound of a trumpet. And it started to bother me. I didn't pay attention too much to it but it started getting louder and louder and louder, the sound of the trumpet. So I remember I walked out of my room and my mom was in the game room and she was holding my son's clothes in her hand and she was holding my daughter's clothes in her hand. And she was looking out the window and she just had a look of utter shock on her face. Like she could not believe what was in front of her she could not believe what she was saying so um i remember i was asking her mom like what is what is that sound what is that what is that and and mind you i also forgot to say my mom was holding my kids clothes in her hand the kids clothes in her hand but my kids were gone they were they were not in the house they were completely gone all she had was their clothes and I was asking my mom, hey, like, like, do you hear that? What's that sound? What's that sound? And she's looking out the window in just utter shock. She couldn't believe what she was seeing outside of the window. So I looked outside of the window and there was a hole in the sky. And it was the most beautiful thing that I had ever seen. Like the colors were so vibrant. It was just so beautiful. And while this was going on, there was still the sound of the trumpet the trumpet sounding off and around this hole there were thousands of white doves flying around the hole and I remember I started clapping I was so excited I was like yay oh my god God is coming he's coming to get us like we're finally getting to go home and um the three of us started looking at each other my mom me and my sister we just started staring at each other like okay this is this is really happening this is the rapture and um my sister went back in her room and her son was gone the only thing that was in the bed was his clothes but he was not there so you know we're i'm still looking out the window just so excited like i'm about to be raptured up god's about to take me home and that's when my mom disappeared she was gone the only thing that was there was her clothes and, um, you know, I was just still so excited. I was still so excited just waiting for my turn to be raptured up. And I wasn't. The hole in the sky closed up and it just appeared as a regular blue sky. It was gone. And so I started crying. I started crying. I broke down crying so hard because I was like, what, what did I do wrong? to not have been raptured up. What is it that I did wrong? And I didn't get to say bye to my kids. Like I was just distraught. And um, somehow in the dream, we ended up at my sister's apartment. And my sister was saying, hey, um, we need to go check on my friend, her friend who lives next door. We need to go check on my friend and um, see if she's okay. So as we walked outside, um, all of her neighbors had came outside all of her neighbors were outside and they didn't they didn't have a clue about what had just happened they were just outside like it was a, a normal day and my sister yelled out to them hey the rapture just happened 
and they were so confused they were like what the rapture like what is that what is that and you know they didn't hear the trumpet they did not see um what was in the sky they didn't hear or see anything so they were completely confused so i screamed out to them we've all been left behind and there was an African woman and I remember she she rolled her eyes like she was just so annoyed. She just rolled her eyes and she was smacking her lips and she was like, no, we haven't been left behind. There's There's been no rapture. And she said, the aliens have invaded the earth. And they were on all over the media, all on TV, all on social media. They were trying to convince people that the world had been taken over by aliens instead of being honest with everybody and telling everybody that we've all been left behind. And I woke up out of my dream. And as soon as I woke up, God said, tell my people that I am coming. Tell my people that I am coming. And he told me to write my dream down. I wrote everything down. And he gave me the verse, Revelation 16, 15, which says, Behold, I come as a thief. Okay. Um, and in my dream, it happened, his coming happened at the most unexpected time. Like my mom was downstairs, she was playing with my kids and me and my sister were in her room folding clothes. He came at the most unexpected time. Like, so guys, when he comes, he's gonna come when it's least expected and he's gonna come quick in the blink of an eye. So Revelation 16, 15 says, behold, I come as a thief. The next, um, the next verse he gave me was Hosea chapter four, verse six, which says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So I strongly recommend you guys get your Bible. You need to get your Bible and you need to read your Bible. You need to read the word, okay? Because whenever the, um, the rapture comes, you do not want to be here. I'm telling you now, you do not want to be here because it is literally going to be hell on earth, literally. So if you have a Bible, you need to read it. You know, look up Bible studies on YouTube. Try to go to church if you can. Do whatever you can to get familiar with your word. Because if you're not familiar with God's word, you're most likely going to be left behind. And God says that his people are destroyed for lack of knowledge of his word. The next verse he gave me was Matthew chapter 7 verse 23, which says, And then I will profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that works in iniquity. And what that verse means is whenever the rapture comes, you you are not you're not going to have a chance to sit there on your knees begging and crying please god i'm sorry please forgive me no you're not you are not going to have a chance to do any of that which is why the time that we're here before he comes we need to be getting it right you need to be getting it right because when he comes he's not going to care about your crying he's not going to care about your tears he's not going to care about that you won't get to see your kids anymore. He's not going to care about any of that because he's literally given us more than enough time, more time that more time than what we need to get right. Um, the next thing he told me is if you have if there's anybody in your life that you have not forgiven, you need to forgive them. You need to forgive them. He's told me um, the type of music that you're listening to. So if you're listening to music about smoking, um, drinking, if you're listening to music about girls shaking their butts or having sex, you need to stop listening to that because you're inviting demons into your home. You're inviting demons into your spirit. And you need to watch the kind of music that you listen to. You need to watch what you listen to on TV. Stop gossiping about others. You need to mind your business. Stop lying. Stop cheating. Excessive drinking, smoking, worshiping other gods. You have to stop all of that. 
Okay guys, sorry about that. Um, and the next verse that he gave me was Matthew 7, 21, which says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, shall enter. So that verse right there pretty much um, speaks for itself. But um, like I said, I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a warning that he's coming so you need to get your house in order you need to get your souls right you need to forgive stop holding grudges like anything that you know is not right you need to stop doing it okay because when the rapture comes and god comes to get his bride and you haven't got your soul right it's going to be too late and let me tell you in those that seven year tribulation period you do not want to be here and I'm, I'm, I'm warning you guys, you don't want to be here. You do not want to be here. And I know for a fact that I don't. So um, I love you guys so much. All right. So um, I love you guys so much. And I really hope that all of you have watched this video all the way to the end. Get your souls right. Get your homes in order. And just get right with God. Read your word. Read your word. If you're able to find a Bible study, even just looking up on looking something up on YouTube, do that. Like do whatever you can to get familiar with God's word. Get a relationship with him. Like I'm so serious, you guys. When he comes, you don't want to be here because it's gonna be hell on earth. And I would I want I want all of us to, to be in heaven rejoicing together. So um, I love all of you so much and get right, guys. I love you because God is coming.